Good morning, good afternoon, melanated, original, whatever you want to call yourself, people. So I got you in the kitchen with me right now. Because, you know, I'm probably going to make y'all mad. And you know, like they say, food, food is good. Good Food is a good conversation starter, you know. Got us some fish. I'm making some fish and grits. <laughs> so I want to talk to you. <clears throat> about us i mean my hometown where i'm from is so many young people killing each other they're shooting them down at each other in the daytime we're killing we're fussing we're mad with each other over different religions we have the um so-called <clears throat> presidential leaders that, you know telling us lies to get our vote so that we can just go ahead and vote and then go on about our merry day Allow them to steal all the money. It's like, are y'all tired of playing this social, this game, this game of life in America? You know America coming down. So I hope y'all are being prepared. That's all I'm here to tell you. You're going to have to be prepared. Because America is losing its power. You cannot hold one race inferior and live off the backs of one race all over the world. Because that's not balanced. That's not normal. That wasn't meant to be. They were. We weren't meant to be their slaves. We were not cursed by no none of their gods that they wrote in their book. They did something inhumane. They played on our spirituality, and we allowed it to happen because we didn't know when they got guns, we would have fought back. They had guns when most black leaders. The kings and queens back in Africa found out. But by the time they started getting their hands on guns, it was too late. It was too late. White people are doing what they have always done. Well, the racist ones. The racist white. The racist ones. You know, they don't like to be lumped in together, but they don't mind lumping us all in together when it come down to black people. When it come down to stereotypes, black people like chicken, watermelon, we get up, we lie, we this, we that. It's like anything that's different about us, they have made it a problem. <clears throat> so, white people have been doing what they have been doing, what they did back in 1962. I mean, 1862, during the emancipation. Now, I told you this in one of my other videos. Again, shout out to Fly Nubian Queen for melanated women like me and you. Hit subscribe. Like us on Facebook. Go to YouTube. Hit the um, notification bell. Text Queens to 31996. I get into my rant. <laughs> so, like I said, back in 1862... See, y'all want some? I'm, I'm, I'm frying some fish up. I brought you in the kitchen with me. Bring you around some food. So back in 1862, right, when Lincoln signed the Emancipation Proclamation, and I hope you know that um, it was right before the Civil War. So what people don't understand is that white people did not want black people free because it was their way of life. They, they get through life not doing anything. They've been trying to hold that position in life since the end of slavery. Off the backs of us, our grandparents, you know, they've been holding that position. And when Lincoln was trying to free the slaves, he wasn't freeing us. He was emancipating us because he was just transferring the ownership because of the economy. So he tried to appease them. And it was other white people... See, Lincoln wasn't fighting to free the slaves like the other group of white people the, um, um, that they were that they were doing. Lincoln just did what was best for the economy. That's why he was executed. Anybody ever ask why was Lincoln executed? Do you ever ask that? Why was he executed? Why was he assassinated? Hmm. And they want to tell you that the Civil War had nothing to do with slavery. White people have in the South had a way of life and they did not want to do it. That's why they're so angry now. They've been angry ever, ever since. That's why they call us names, treat us like shit, don't want us to have nothing, deprive us of education, and then blame us for not being educated. They did this. They did this. Shit. 
and we are arguing with each other about what went on. So back then when Lincoln told them, look, they're not free. You're not going to lose this. We're going to make you whole again. He gave them money, land. He signed another emancipation. It was the, the District of Columbia Emancipation Act. White people were emancipated too. The slave owners. In the Emancipation Act, they got money from the government for having to give up their, their slaves. They they signed it was grant it were programs to make them whole to rep they got reparations. We got nothing. Your grandparents, my grandparents, would when they argued back then, they said no, the slaves shouldn't have nothing because of the white people that were fighting and other black people that were fighting with them. Like you know, you always have your group that's fighting. Um, said that the slaves needed something. White people started when they were going to get something. They got the slaves got like so much land after slavery. The state of Florida, almost down through the southern states. So what happened was white people was like, what are we going to get? As usual, when we ask for reparations now, it's always white people. What about us? When we need, uh, when we saying racist and white people, what about us? We could be treated racist. So it's like every fucking thing. They want to be part of something that they created. We are fighting back and they always want to be victim. It's in history. They've been doing this for through the history of America. They got everything they asked for. They got houses, government grants. They got slavery reparations. And they are doing today what they did back then, arguing how black people don't need it, that they need it. They have, they have drained the government. That's why the government of America is in a deficit, a trillion dollar deficit. It damn sure didn't come from us black people. And y'all know that. Y'all know that. What are we getting? They're living a the life. They... After we, the land that was given to black people, when white people assassinated Abraham Lincoln, they changed it and came back and took everything back from them. They, they stole and stole and stole and stealing and stealing and stealing now. And we're arguing with each other about what's right and wrong and what God doing. Your God of the Bible been sitting here quiet the whole time. Buddha been sitting here quiet the whole time. All these guys been sitting here quiet the, all, all, the whole time. That should let you know. And these same people who wrote our Bible told us that God told them it's okay for what they do. And we believe it. We believe it with no question. I'm not believing it no more. I'm not. I'm not. They're doing the same thing they have done throughout history. Throughout history, they have always, they have always made themselves the, the negative to our positive. If our skin is dark, they say it should be light. If our hair is curly, they say it should be like this. They are the ones that stepped out, out of earth comparing their every movement to us. We didn't do that to them. So hell no, we can't be racist. Fuck that. We can't be racist. When we did own everything and had all the power, we had the land, we have everything they stole from us. We had it at one time. And we never thought about going around and enslaving them and making them the slaves, cutting off their penises and raping their children and feeding their kids the alligators to catch um uh, other um to catch alligators, feeding their children to catch alligators to make clothes out of. We never did no kind of bullshit like that. So we are not the cursed people. They're the cursed. If you can't see that these people don't did everything in the book that they could do and that they're the ones that's cursed they what are they running from what are they always scared of why they always fear for their life they've been walking they've been fearing for their life because in the deep 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 depths of everything through dna through the dna they say trauma is passed on through dna to black people through their dna the guilt of karma is sitting there they're gonna get that karma that's what they're scared of. We're running behind their fears. We're living in a world of fear of white people. They stole everything and they're scared they're going to get it back. And then we kill each other and, and we, we fight each other because we don't see the debts of what they're doing to us. We, we, we killing each other and fighting each other and disrespecting each other over words and little stuff. If, if a, a dude in the street or somebody in the street rob each other, we quick to get our respect back. But these people are disrespecting us on a bigger level, on million dollar levels, and you don't even want to take your mind and understand what's going on because you don't want to research your history. If we should be mad at anybody, it should be the 1%. Not each other. We don't have patience with each other. We got all the patience in the world for they bullshit. 
or the patience in the world. Because we've been trained to be that way. I had to realize, wait a minute, why was I thinking that way? Why did I do this? Why did I used to be in the clubs? Why did I think this was cool? Because the music that we have, it's not about the rappers and stuff. It's just that what the, they own the music industry and it's what they allowed the rappers to push through because they said it was good. It was good for them because it made us look bad and it gave the rappers money. All the way that we're living in the, the routes that we took to make money and the things that we're doing as black people, we would have never done this stuff. Had it not been for the interfer interference in our lives of white people, we wouldn't have been in this position. And we're trying to get uh, other people to think and get us out of it, but we want to sit down and fight with each other. We're in a burning house and we pulling and tugging and fighting each other instead of getting out the damn door. It's time to lay all this bullshit down and walk out this burning house and, 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 and recoup what we got. You a finance major? Okay. You know how to read? You an English major? Okay. You know how to do construction? Okay. You know electricity? Okay. You know um agriculture? Okay. You know um you know how to um dance or whatever, entertain? Okay. You know how to cook? Okay. You know how to clean? Okay. We got out everything we need in each other. We can lay it down. You know how to make candles and we can live uncomfortable for a, a little bit. They got tents. They got empty towns. They got generators. We can do. We can walk away from their bullshit. That's what they're scared of. That's why when we were free, they did not want us to leave to this day. They're holding us in America through little programs that we all agree on that we don't know is holding us back. From owing the IRS to child support to everything we do, we have no value in each other because we have been trained. And until we get that through our heads, we will forever be lost. We cannot buy our way out of this situation because they have corrupted us mentally. We have to think our way out this situation. We have to learn our way out of this situation. We have to unify our way out of the situation. Because America is going down and we need to be a unified group to be together because right now they don't even want us in their towns and stuff on anything. These people build bunkers. They got underground towns and cities, all kinds of stuff. Look it up. Look up the underground bunkers and stuff they have with pool, food the last them years. You think they're going to let your black ass in there? We're not even building half of that. And the black people that do have it, they don't care because most of them are with the whites. They don't know that they'll, they'll be the ones when if anything go down and everybody emerge out the bunkers and those little blacks that was with them, niggas, y'all going to be the next slaves because of your skin color. It has nothing to do with you as a person. It has nothing to do with your money. They These people have shown us over and over again, even the most black person with the most money, they don't give a damn. They still disrespecting them. They still shooting them. They still killing them. Like I told you in Carter, what's in book say? No matter how much the Negro cleans his hand, he could never be clean. That his hands could never be clean no matter what. And no matter how much the white man uses his hands, his hands could never be dirty. And we allow that. Just like this, this bullshit that's going on in the voting and the elections and all this stuff. White people have been playing the same fucking games with us. Just to get us to move like sheep. We move with the crowd. Oh, the, those are the new boots. The crowd go out. That's how we going to wear our hair this time. The crowd go out. That's the song we sing. The crowd go up. And all that while, while we doing this stupid shit, they over us laughing, just pulling our strings, getting the money. Go ahead. Go ahead. Shoot each other, stupid niggas. Go ahead. Shoot each other. Shoot each other, dummies. So that way I can get my... My friend hired. He's the coroner. Stupid. I can get my my friend hired. She's the judge. Dummy. I can get my friend hired. They're the lawyers. Stupid. And the other lawyer friend, his girlfriend, going to be the prosecutor. Dummy. Uh-huh. And then we're going to get other people that look like us and our grandparents and cousins. They're going to be the jury. We'll get a couple of y'all Negroes on there so it won't look bad. But at the end of the day, we all know what's up. Don't you see the lies? We are creating a life for them to live on. They already took our land, our resources, our history, our culture, and we won't even tap into it. We're too busy talking about, nigga, you disrespect me. I'm on, on my mama, on my set, 
on my this and that, on oh, my this and that, you ain't gonna disrespect me, well, nigga, I'm shoot, I earn my respect, I'm this and here go the bitch, yeah, uh-huh, fuck that bitch, you ain't in, uh, twerk, twerk, bitch, y'all stupid, y'all are stupid, get on stupid. Because why y'all just doing all this? Oh, what's the next move? Uh, white people, my friend. Y'all over here with a couple of poor white people and all the rest of the white people. This is all of them. They all out here living. They going through They going through the world. They visiting places. They visiting caves. You ain't never seen islands. Their kids are walking around with their dainty little stuff and eating everything they could while your kids is eating oodles and noodles. And you arguing with me about who could be racist and what's going on with us as a people. And who, who what God answering the prayer. They got their prayers answered because they created that God. It's time for us to go back to our roots. I'm sorry, you might not like the truth, but it is what it is. Straight no chaser with the queen. I'm finna eat my fish and grits. Mm-hmm. Y'all enjoy your day. Shout out to Fly Nubian Queen for melanated women like me and you. Subscribe to Fly Nubian Queen. And text queens to 31996 for updates. Okay. Oh. And we got a shop on Fly Nubian Queen. So go out there and check it out. It's shop F N Q for Fly Nubian Queens.com. Okay. Support your own. We got to start supporting our own. Like I said, if you the doctor, she the nurse, that person the cleaner, this person the CNA, this and that, we got our hospital. If this person know how to manage and that person know finance and you know how to get grants and you have um, land, we got our banks. We got our neighborhoods. You know how to build. You know how to do electricity. You know how to paint. Okay. We got our schools. You know how to cook. You know how to grow food. You know how to, we got everything we need with each other. We just scared to start from scratch because we're like the white people. We want to be comfortable when we're not comfortable. We got everything we need in us. The God in us. Not in a book, not nowhere. The mind, the God can't, the God walks with you every day when you're debating, when you're thinking. One is listening, you. One is the spirit directing, and one is God giving you the information from the universe. You don't, you, you don't, we'll talk about that other, another time because y'all ain't ready for the real God. Because when you want the real God, tap into the inside. And when we all kumbaya, whole hands come together, we'll notice that we got everything we need in each other. We don't need them. They know that we don't need them. Because if we do everything we need and do with each other, we will choose whether we want to do business with them or whether we want to go to their neighborhoods. They're holding all the goods and we thinking that's where the goods are at. No, they just took the goods there. We can create our own goods. Again, peace. Have a blessed day.